How's it going everybody? It's Pride here and today I'm here to talk to you guys about From Software's new game and I know I've done a quite a few videos about this recently but you know when there's news I just want to talk about it and it's not particularly news uh, because it's not new uh, but it's something I learned about that is very interesting and could have something to do with this new game that we're going to see. Uh, if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, From Software is currently working on a new IP, a new intellectual property, a new game uh, with Hidetaka Miyazaki, you know, director of Dark Souls 3 bloodborne dark souls one at the helm so most people are very excited and it's not going to be related to dark souls apparently so it's not going to be like bloodborne 2 dark souls 4 it's a whole new game uh obviously it's a new ip but it apparently is not supposed to be in the formula and the style of dark souls uh so you know that's very interesting but anyways uh first of all i just want to say thanks to mike he actually in uh, the comment section of one of my videos a couple of days ago actually linked me this article uh it's an article from a few months ago where they actually talk about a new From Software PS4 exclusive game, or I should say the rumor of a new exclusive game. Uh, so basically what the article talks about, and if you want to read it for yourself, I will link it in the description so you guys can. But the gist of it is basically talking about a specific forum post on the NeoGAF forums, uh, a known Sony insider who constantly posts on the NeoGAF forums. Somebody asked him a specific question about JRPGs and about how Shuhei Yoshida talked about JRPGs and how they wanted to bring a larger audience to JRPGs on PlayStation uh, and they asked them if they don't consider any of the JRPGs that are currently in development like clear JRPGs that people would notice and bring in a large audience basically what he replied with was next from software or FS exclusive for PS4 currently in development is a Sony published first party title like Bloodborne not saying that it's going to be like Bloodborne but it's going to be a first party title like Bloodborne was uh, and it says and is a JRPG now, that is very interesting because uh, it's basically saying that the next From Software game is going to be a JRPG. Now, at the time, I would have read this like, oh, they're already making Dark Souls 3. This is probably a lie. But again, you know, like I said, this was a rumor, apparently. Uh, but at the time, you know, somebody reading this could have just been like, you know, oh, this is probably something that's not, not true. They're making Dark Souls 3 at the time. But now... Dark Souls 3 is out and we know that From Software is working on a new IP that isn't a Dark Souls or Bloodborne related title. Uh, you know, apparently they wanted to go in a new direction, create something brand new. And they've said, you know, or Miyazaki himself has stated that he is interested in working on some type of a science fiction, maybe space science fiction game. Uh, so maybe this rumor has a leg to stand on. But this definitely doesn't mean that this is true. Uh, it doesn't mean that it's a lie either. This could just straight up have been a rumor. And there are a couple of reasons why I think this might not be true. But before we get into those, uh, the time frame, which was seven months ago, this was just a rumor that they were working on a new IP. Uh, the time frame kind of matches right now at this point because uh, at the time they were working on Dark Souls 3. Now it could have been totally possible that they were working, or uh, Miyazaki and From Software were working on Dark Souls 3 and this new IP at the same time but there it kind of uh miyazaki himself kind of strikes me as a person who likes to work on one big project and maybe a smaller project but not two big projects at the same time and that was the reason why he couldn't work and like directly or i should say direct uh dark souls 2 he was involved a little bit but he wasn't really like a game director he wasn't really involved the way he was with dark souls 3 and bloodborne and that was the case you know he was working on bloodborne so he couldn't work at on dark souls 2 at the same time uh, so, you know, it would be kind of weird for him to work on this brand new IP and this uh, on Dark Souls 3 at the exact same time. Now, I could see him working on uh, Dark Souls 3's DLC and this new IP at the same time because that's a smaller project and a bigger project like he worked on Bloodborne, the DLC and Dark Souls 3. You know, he did those two at the same time. And even though seven months does quite seem like a long time and they could have even been doing this for longer than seven months. Seven months is just when this guy said that it's rumored and allegedly they started working on a new IP. Uh, they could have been working on that before, but even seven months is quite a while. I do think maybe they could have just been laying the groundwork, preparing for Miyazaki to get some free time to start working on this game and put his full focus on this new IP as well. 
Uh, you know, that could totally be possible, but uh, another thing that I wanted to talk about was VR and this new From Software game because we know that they are already putting out this new game. So, uh, a couple months ago, I'm pretty sure in April, there was this unlisted video and it's still up on uh, From Software's channel. I'm not going to show you the full video because, you know, I'm kind of scared that they might, you know, for some reason take it down. Uh, but if you guys want to watch it yourself, the link is in the description and maybe some of you guys have seen it, but it's about, it has about 98,000 views and it's an unlisted video. It's not a public video on their channel but uh, basically what the video is is kind of going through the games that they've made throughout the years so they show from the beginning uh, they you know, show games like armor cord and you know games from the 360 and previous gens and stuff like that uh, you know like dark souls dark souls 2 they can show bloodborne or demon Souls because those are properties owned by sony rather than from software but they also show they also show 2017 and i'm gonna show you guys an image right here and this is the image basically what it says is 2017 and then on so it's not saying just 2017 it's saying you know 2017 and the future and what they show is xbox one playstation 4 pc and playstation vr so this is very interesting you know definitely uh and it also kind of brings a little bit of credibility to this rumor and again as well why i think it might be a lie so i'll tell you you guys why both of those reasons first of all why i think it might be a lie uh, because it says xbox one and obviously it's not just the year 2017 it's 2017 on in the future and the games they're going to make in the future for the next coming years um which i'm assuming they're going to probably keep an yearly schedule i hope they do at least but definitely just because we see xbox one in there that doesn't mean that the next game in 2017 isn't going to be a playstation exclusive uh, you know they could be saying you know one year we'll make a playstation exclusive game then next year we'll put out a game that's going to be viable for all consoles everybody's going to be able to use it and play it uh, use it i don't know why i said use it but everybody's going to be able to play it on whatever they have but as well, like I said, this does bring a little bit of credibility to this rumor because it says PlayStation VR. Now, you would assume that a game that is going to have and be viable on PlayStation VR uh, would be a PlayStation exclusive. I doubt that they would put out a multi-platform game where they would take the extra time to make it viable for PlayStation VR. I'm assuming that if they were to do that and, you know, like they said right there, they are going to make games for PlayStation VR they would put extra time and it would be something that sony would exclusively pay for for them to put the extra time in to make it uh work on for playstation vr so that's why i definitely think that this might have a little bit of credibility um don't know if it's going to be a jrpg but i do think that maybe a from software exclusive playstation game is going to be coming out next year or at least in the future sometime um, and it definitely seems like a JRPG would be easier to make for PlayStation VR rather than a full like Dark Souls type of game with huge bosses and insane graphics. Definitely, uh, you know, because I'm assuming making a game that works for PlayStation VR and having everything be in VR would take a bunch of time and it would just be simpler if it was a JRPG. But anyways, guys, definitely let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, do you guys think this has any credibility, any leg to stand on? Because I definitely think it has a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit, uh, hopefully Hopefully we see something of this game uh, in E3, even though I really don't think we are. I honestly do think that what we're going to get from E3 and from software is going to be something about the next uh, Dark Souls 3 DLC, or I should say the first Dark Souls 3 DLC, which I don't mind, man. I'm fucking excited for this first Dark Souls 3 DLC. You know, I'm still enjoying the game, but I'm definitely excited to see what new things we get. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, definitely leave a like uh, if you enjoyed it. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the matches in the, in the background, by the way. Uh, anyways, that's about it. Talk to you guys later. Peace, everybody.